tonight on Big Brother. The housemates, up for eviction, Ray, Bradley and Sarah. <gasps> what? Nomination aggravation. You just want to punch them all in the face. Really, you do. <laughs> Benjamin and Sarah warned for breaking the rules. This is the most serious punishment in the Big Brother game. The housemates in a marathon struggle against an opponent that doesn't exist. House one and house two, get set, go. And is Surly's secret about to be sprung? Hello, darling. Hi, Surly. Honestly, it was a man. It wasn't Big Brother. No, it wasn't Big Brother. You're up again, bro? Yeah. <laughs> you guys really mustn't like me. I'm here next week. I'll get you back. cookie crumbles, guys. <laughs> it's all right. Oh. You'll be here next week. No. Uh, no. Right. You Come here, mate. Oh. I knew it. Hey, right. I just felt it. I knew it. It felt so good. Oh, oh my god. Same as before. 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 Yeah. You feel like that's okay? good. That's good power. Yeah, I'm a bit numb, but that's all right. Yeah. It's just what has to happen, you know. It's just. Hey, you know. You're a handsome Sarah. 12, that's a lot, isn't it? No, not really, when you had 17 the week before. <laughs> okay, not for tip for tap, but... Look, all I can say is what goes around comes around. Like, I'm actually feeling like myself for once. Because, yeah. like, I don't have to worry what everyone thinks about me anymore because I'm already numb-numbed. Yeah. So I can just be myself. Tape's good. And I've got a whole week to be myself and just have fun with it. Yeah. And made an amazing experience, and if I bail, I bail. I've got things to do on the outside anyway, so... It's not like it's a devastating thing to me. No. Yeah. Well, what, you were here for a month. Like, that's a pretty big a deal. A month is sweet, You're man. here for a third of the time. I just want to have one more win. I want us to win the next challenge. I just want to have one more win. Yeah. And then I'll be like, yep, sweet. And we did it as a team and we smashed it out. Then, you know, we, yeah. we start as a team, we end as a team. Yeah. yeah. It's this feeling that you can I know. feel it. It's yourself. horrible. Last night, Ryan gave Estelle the nomination superpower, which allowed her to influence who got nominated. It's horrible. Were you glad to have, you're allowed to answer that, if you're glad to have this particular advantage? How yes, would no. you? Not, I don't know if I can even speak about it. No. Is it going to affect your time, do you reckon, this week? Yeah, it might. Mm. Don't let it affect it. Can't have you upset as well. No, I've been through the roller coaster of I've cried when I'm nominated. Yeah. Sarah. Hello, big brother. How did you feel the moment that you heard your name announced? I was actually numb for a little bit. Um, but just seeing everyone's faces, you can tell straight away who nominated you and you really don't want to talk to them, <laughs> like as if you would want to, but you really just want to go, right, okay. You feel like everybody that you nominated didn't actually nominate you and that everybody you didn't nominate nominated you. So you love these people and it's, you're so close with these people, you just want to punch them all in the face. Really, you do. <laughs> but um, I'm just this girl standing in front of Big Brother <clears throat> explaining how she feels and it's hard not to get emotional. It's hard, you don't think it's gonna be this hard. <laughs> Rattles, you bloody nom nom victim, eh? Yeah. That's all you bloody are. But I got less points than last time. What so did you get this time? 13. Last time I got 16. That could be one less person. <laughs> one less person that hates your guts. One, one less person <laughs> that absolutely hates me. No, no one hates you. I hate you. Nom, 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 so yeah. <laughs> no. Silly sausage. Some people are just absolute pests. 
absolute pest. Absolute pest. You, and you know, you just look it's at like someone and you go, my time. thanks for that hug. You didn't mean it. Yeah. yeah. You know, like it's, yeah. and you go, oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see you coming, but you were there. Pest. Yeah. You're a pest. Okay. Pink, furry, stinking pet. <laughs> Benjamin. Um, I was quickly wanted to pop in here and it's because I can't really show my excitement too much because one of my friends is nominated and obviously other people are nominated as well. But I just feel so grateful still that I'm here and I'm just, I don't know, the, the, the twist really scares me because I think I nominated Estelle and then she got to go and see stuff and I'm like, oh, does she know that I nominated her? Benjamin, is it fair to say that the confidential nature of nominations is frustrating for you? It is, but I'm very grateful that I read the rules last night and the confidentiality of nominations is frustrating for me because I have a big mouth and I need to shut up. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, big brother. Is there anything else? No, and I, we're really grateful for our chat. Likewise. Enjoy your evening. You too, big brother. That is all. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. You going back in there? Yeah, I'm going to ask for my shorts. Can you ask? Oh, no, I, I do get a new start upping people like you did. I do. What's that? I want to start upping people like you did. Upping people? What do you mean? Like, I want to say to Ray, really, so it wasn't over, because Bradley just said that, you just said, oh, was it over? <gasps> like, lie to my face, why don't you? Be yeah. a man. Do what I did and wait not three days to go and have a confrontation with Ray, but actually go up to him at one point. Say, mm -hmm. yo, yo, yo. Like, because I went... The same two people that I was having the problem with last week. Mm. Lie to your face. Yeah. What are you feeling? I, I like, just feel really betrayed. Really betrayed because I stood up for him. Yeah. And I said, no, he's not like that. I don't think he's like that, but you know but you what, now? Know. I don't, don't give a rat's pyjamas. But you don't know that he nominated you. I do. I know it. I can see it in his eyes and I can see in George's eyes. I can see in Josh's eyes. I, can I not talk about these? Probably not. I can see it in their eyes. And I can see in Stell's eyes. Hmm. I'm going to tell you right now that if you do what I did last week and believe that you know the nominations, it's going to make it impossible for you to speak to... I'm just going to race in there and ask for my shorts that I left in the captain's quarters. So I'll be two seconds flat. You going to bed? Yeah, I was going to grab my antibiotic, but I'll get you ready for bed. This is Big Brother. Benjamin and Sarah to the diary room. Benjamin. Yes, Big Brother. Sarah. Yes, Big Brother. For the last 40 minutes, Big Brother has been listening closely to your conversation. It is a fundamental rule of Big Brother that housemates may not discuss who they nominated or who they believe nominated them. Despite constant warnings to all housemates, the two of you seem to think this rule does not apply to you. It does. Tonight, Sarah, in a conversation with Benjamin outside the diary room, you clearly mentioned three housemates by name. You said you could see in their eyes that they nominated you. Housemates, Big Brother has listened back to your conversation a second time and is left with little choice. Sarah, Benjamin, for blatant nomination discussion, Big Brother is issuing each of you a strike. Apart from immediate removal from the house, this is the most serious punishment in the Big Brother game. Housemates, three strikes and you're out. Don't do it again. Yes, Big Brother. Yes, Big Brother. That is all. Coming up, get set, go. Go, Benny. The fake house has the real house on the run. My legs aren't big enough to go this fast.
It's time for the housemates to get this week's task. We will win this, by the way. Guys. Yeah, mm. I'm not fast. We all win. Mm. But for the first time ever, they'll be up against an unknown force. They've been told there's a second house and they'll be competing against it. This is Big Brother. Hi, Big Brother. All housemates assemble in the lounge room. They also believe the losing house will be shut down and the housemates sent home to their other lives. But it's all a scam. Over the next several weeks, you will be competing in a series of challenges against House 2. <laughs> Every week, each house must be represented by a head of house elected by their fellow housemates. You have 10 minutes to discuss and elect this week's head of house. If we've got head of house, different head of house each week. I think Ben Troy, just for our first week. Benny. Housemates, who is your elected head of house? Benjamin. 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 Why have you chosen Ben? Because he's the best. He's a leader. The smartest he's funny. And, the and we listen to him. He can tell us what to do. <laughs> and he's a good representation of our house as a whole. Ben, to the diary room. Go, Ben J. Go good luck, Ben. Oh, look at your arm. <laughs> and housemates, be warned. This challenge is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Good luck, and may the best house win. Oh, oh. yeah. Is it a beep test? Oh, is it a beep test? No, no, it's just treadmill. <sighs> Big Brother is about to make the housemates run an exhausting 42 kilometre marathon on the treadmill. They're convinced they're racing against the occupants of House 2, but House 2 doesn't exist. Everyone's going to have to run a kilometre. Mm. Can we get the slow runners to get their kilometre out of the way yeah. first? Yeah, agreed. That. And then we yeah. will, the, the people who can maintain a run at 16 kilometres an hour will do that to the best of their ability. Yeah. Drop to one, they'll put their hand up, someone else will come in and we'll run at that speed. We will run yeah. at no speed, lower than that. Nice. This is the order in which we're going to go. So I'll run first out of this because I'll consider myself in this team. Yep. Then we'll go in order, down. Don't run at 80%, run at 100%. Like yeah. Just run as just fast, fast as you as can, you can. Yeah. and there will be someone there who can tap you in. This is be. Big Brother. Good luck, Benj. House one and house two. Mm -hmm. Your first house versus house challenge starts now. House one and house two, take your marks. Go, Ben! Go, Ben! Go, Ben! Go, Ben! Go, Ben! House two, that means your first runner needs to get on the treadmill. <laughs> the housemates are laughing, but the joke is about to be on them. I wish I was more sun out right now. Like, I'm not I'm even, cold. I'm not even tanning. I'm house two is a film set with actors, with not a treadmill in sight. Oh, oh yeah. Can I have a towel? <laughs> house one and house two. Get set. Go. Big enough to go this fast. So just be like, look, personal goal. Just run as fast as you're actually capable of running. Yeah. yeah. Let's just think like that fat guy we saw in the promo will not be able to run. He might have already gone. <laughs> You tell, you tell. You're doing so well. You've got great technique. At the 26 kilometre mark, it's not just the housemates that are at breaking point. The treadmill has hit the pain barrier too. Josh, there's smoke coming off the back of that or some kind of wearing. The treadmill's smoking. <laughs> Oh my God. 
It's actually smoking. That belt ripped in half. House one and house two, stop the treadmills and step away. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Official timing has been suspended. Still to come. Can't I just say, like, I feel like I can't input anymore. The Estelle and Sarah marathon continues. And I know that we uh, can offer just, something, so just, and we know. An overheating treadmill has forced the housemates to temporarily abandon their marathon challenge against the fictitious house too. Oh my God, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know what a kilometer is. We should have gone first so then we didn't feel like bad because we weren't. We might have to do more than a kilometer. What I want is to win. Yeah. I want so us to win this house yeah. challenge and I want to win um, the show. I yeah. don't want anyone, like fair enough, I'd love to win, yeah. But I do not want anyone from that house winning no. over anyone from this no. house. No way. That's exactly it. Oh, exactly. Every single person that's in this house, goal should be short term goal, kill that other house. Long term goal, everyone in here should be, I want to win. Oh, what's going on in here? Talking about the other house. Do you know what I really hope for, and this is what I really hope, is that there is no deletion of ha deleting of house yeah. and that there is an emerging house. house. That would be so good. I yeah. think it's a, a fairly very interesting concept that they've had. For being a 30 year old, sometimes I've felt very old in this house. I'm very funny to 30 year olds. Put me in a room full of 30 year olds and I think I'd be pretty funny. Yeah. I know, I'm I look 22, Michael. I'm just saying, like, you, you're only like four years old. I mean, that's not that old to the me. Age is kind of irrelevant when you look at me, though, because I'm 32 and I probably act like the youngest person in the house. My belly's gone blending. Mm. I'm so hungry. Me too. I think things are going to change for you because you're going to be thinking more outside the box instead of just thinking that you're in control. Because as far as I'm concerned, you've been in the house and I might have joked about you lying around the house like a lion and I may have referred to you last night as the alpha male, but there's comfortability in those things, knowing that people just follow the, follow the lead. I you might not have been that person ever in the outside world and your friends might be laughing at it, but I can guarantee you when you walk through this house, people follow. Yeah. And I'm not, this is, I'm not being rude in any way. I would prefer it if you didn't call me that, purely because I know what other men think about that term. Because uh. George would be like, no, I'm the alpha male. And then Ray would be like, uh. why do they think he's the alpha male? I'm, like, it's something that men, I think. Really? Yeah. This is Big Brother. House one and house two. Out of fairness, both treadmills in both houses have been replaced with identical units. Word. Housemates. Please take your positions outside and wait for Big Brother to restart the marathon. Once people have seen what the new thing looks like, I want you all back inside. Oh, it's a big one. Please let me run. Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. Come on, Sheila. Benj. No one stay in the red. Just hop on the bench and sit down. I want to run again. Please let me run Didn't again, Did just bench. say we all had to come to the bleachers? House one and house two. Get set. Go. Select program. Quick start or just start. Use the click keys on the side. I'm confident now. It's a good treadmill. Yeah. About to run. We got guys like Georgie boy. Estelle has already had one go on the treadmill. She wants another, but the others aren't sure she's the best person to go next. I really want to get on, like I was second and I haven't run for ages and I only got a kilometre. Like, I'm really, I'm happy but, um, to get on and smash <laughs> But it just sounds like from 13. everything, like, okay. I'm ready. The boys can do 16. Let's get them on and then let's get them doing 16. Get them to smash it. Ange and I were going next and then just leave it. Well, Ange. You jump on, do your thing. If you um, don't want to run Ange, I'm more than happy to She jump knows. In. No, so, like, I, she I don't know what to say. Like, I feel like I can't input anymore because people are just cutting me off. I'm just saying I'm happy to run because I'm fit. And I know I can smash it. I'm just saying that. I think George had the perfect plan. Yeah, we need the quickest ones on there. So, that's, like, that's... Razor, me. But like, we need to do the 16K yeah. ones. Yeah, you, need, you yeah. guys need to go first. I'm just saying I'm happy to run again. It's 
is going great. Bradley, can you join the bench? Stay on there. When I come out of the circle, then replace me. I'm gonna get my socks and shoes. No, 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 it's just to... No, no, I'm just saying I'm gonna grab them. One, two. You okay, Ben? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry for cracking it, but people right. have heard you say maybe 30 times that you want to... Alright, it's just hard because, you know, like, we're fit. And I know that we can offer something, enough. so... That's... Just, and we know. All right. We all feel like that, but you just got to know when it's... We've heard it, so... And look, I've said the same thing, Yeah. but I haven't said it 20 times. Otherwise, you'd want to punch me in the face. And right now, I think yeah, it's just something cut off every time I've said something. So no, you haven't. It's the only reason I've said you it. You don't need to acknowledge at all. people. It's. I appreciate you saying that, though. So yeah. Thanks. Look, I've said some stuff a couple of times today, and I haven't got acknowledged once. Next. Did you see how hot the girls were in the other house? Ray's falling in love. <laughs> just hell jelly, man. It could be us. To say Ray, call 1902 SMS Ray to 199 or vote on Facebook. Okay, you're off. Good job, Zoe. House One still has more than 10 kilometres to go in the marathon. I'm just so unfair. Oh, please, God, help me. They're tired, and the argument over whether Estelle should get another turn is still simmering. I'm almost um, inclined to just let Ingo and Bobby come up here because it's just more pain in the long run. I feel bad. My boyfriend just got kicked out. I'm correct. Yeah, she's not happy. Hmm. Would you prefer Estelle up here than one of us? I just had to tell her to stop speaking about it. Yeah, it was it. really awkward, so I'd just prefer her to come up here and do it and be happy than for me to cop it for the next. Oh, just chuck me off. I'm off. Never mind. I couldn't. Just think it's for the best. And there's no awkwardness, and she well, doesn't feel like she has to prove herself. And she's sitting there, and she said about ten times, and she's like, oh, I feel like I'm going to cut off. I'm like, oh, dude. Yeah. Everyone was getting upset with me because I just wanted to say, I can run, just consider me. It's just hard because I was like, well, I ran 3Ks at a higher speed than the people that they were going to put in front of me. So I wasn't being a bitch. I was just like, yeah. I can run fast. Just consider me. And I know it sounds competitive, but I'm like, we're running for the house. You want the boys to run anyway at 16Ks an hour? Would you prefer one of like the boys? I'm just going to get her to run. Like, George is ready to run. George, George is like, he wants to run. Okay. No, it's just it's, at the moment I feel like everyone's so quick to jump on me when I have a suggestion. Okay. They don't even listen. They're just like, nah, like I know nothing. It's like, all right. But you do know nothing. That's uh, true. Really? Especially about fitness. I know zero. I don't ever train every day or anything. Get up, 39-ish. It's tough, guys. Who's up? Okay, can I get one more person, please? Good on, Jackie! Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Good job, Ray. George, you're on. Okay. What about? Water, water for Ray. Someone get water for Ray. Mate. The form is perfect. Your stride is perfect. Two, one, you're off. <laughs> if you Good job, Ben. Already... Smash that 2K, Benji. I'm not going to be able to finish this. I've got you. Okay. It's fine, I'm swapping. Go! Seven on less than 700 metres. Two on seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Go! 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 This is Big Brother. Yeah. House one, you have finished your marathon and the results will be in shortly. <laughs> Davina, can I just get you listening to the girls? Because you pretty much talk the whole time, so. Oh. So are you single here? Yeah. So Yesterday, you... House One was shown a short video no, clip oh, of no. the pretend <laughs> house. And while the actors were fake, the impression they left was real. 
Oh my god. Oi, are you. Did you see how hot the girls were in the other house? No. Did you not know? Mate, they were gorgeous. They were some real lookers. And I just said, what happened to the chicks in our house? Like, you know, we didn't. I was expecting, like, at least, I suppose Sarah is. Oh, they're all, like, hot, but. Man, those chicks in the other house. I oh, know, man. I bloody no. <laughs> Just hell jelly, man. It could be us in the other house. And there's no dude competition in the other house. It's that big, fat dude. Yeah, big time, eh? See, that's the problem in this house, man. I've got you swinging from branch to branch. Joshy running friggin' marathons. Ryan, thank God he's not around anymore. <laughs> Man, I'm struggling, man. I'm sleeping by myself. It sucks. But Razor, you are a bit of a loser. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I'll pay that. I'll pay that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is Big Brother. All housemates to the house. It's time to find out which house ran the fastest. Housemates. Yes, we will. You have just completed your first house versus house challenge. The winner of today's challenge will receive one point and take first blood in the battle of the houses. House one, you completed the 42 kilometer marathon in a time of three hours, 16 minutes and 32 seconds. Maybe they House two, you completed the 42 kilometre marathon in a time of three hours, 19 minutes and 21 seconds. Congratulations, House one, you are the winners of the first House versus House challenge. Coming up, face to face with the enemy. So, do you believe in love at first sight? Is the game up? No, I don't think you can like, know someone like straight away. That was the worst, that, the worst conversation I've ever dialogue heard. I've ever heard. To save Sarah, call 1902 559512, SMS Sarah to 199 or vote on Facebook. Housemates won the imaginary marathon challenge against House 2 and they're about to receive their prize. House 1, as an additional reward for winning today's task, would you like to see some vision of House 2? Yeah! <laughs> Greta and Tyson are getting to know each other poolside and are talking about soulmates. Okay, so, do you believe in love at first sight? Oh, you lose. Uh, I believe in lust at first sight. Do you believe in love at first sight? No, I don't think you can know someone like straight away. Do you believe like everyone has a soulmate then? <laughs> um, I don't believe, not so much a soulmate. I think there's definitely people out there for everyone. So yeah, I, I suppose there are soulmates, but not so much just one soulmate. Yeah. Like it could be, I don't know, I kind of think like there's a soulmate like in the world and I don't know, they, people like don't travel enough, like they might not find them, you know? So how come I haven't found one if I've been travelling for three years? Maybe you're looking in the wrong places. <laughs> and where should I be looking? Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I actually have a hunch that we have just been, stitched. we have been oh. stitched yeah. hardcore. No, that did look like they were normal people. That, was, that, no. that was the worst, that, the worst conversation I've ever heard. I thought it was real. 
and I thought they were nervous and flirting with each other. It was day 11. Maybe they were just sorting out, you know, who's who's and what's what. Like, we've been in here for, what, 20-something days. And day 11, they would have been like, oh, you know, I do like you, but I don't know how to say it. And that would be a conversation how to say it. I don't think that's a That's stick. like a typical I think they're real people. In, in a night, yeah. nightclub, eh? Hey? I don't think that's a <laughs> stick. That's a Roxas paper girl thrown through. Uh, no, but we, we hey. okay, what about this? Yeah. Describe yeah. your perfect yeah. girl. Yeah. Describe your perfect guy. We all sat around and said really cheesy town stuff. Yeah, but you can say girl like, it's not a stitch-up. Do you think there's actually another house? There is. Yeah. How do you know? I don't know, man. There's people here know there are Yeah. I don't know. Um... I'm skeppy as, man. Oh. It was like watching Ryan and Estelle, but like a hundred times worse. <laughs> nah. Seeing footage of House 2 has made some housemates re-examine relationships in their own house. Now that uh, Ryan's gone, it's like they've lost the relationship from the house. Mm. So now I feel Triangle. like it's going to be more focused yeah. on like you Layla and George come. and myself and Ange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've made a decision. What? We're gonna not sleep on the same side of the bed anymore. Oh, really? It's getting a bit too, too hot. Last, last night got a bit too hot. Really did it? Yeah. So oh, like that. Josh, do you know what pesty Ray said before? Oh, radar, tell oh, me. Stinking radar. Oh, oh radar yeah. Radar detector. Pesky. He said he wanted to swap the girls that he saw on the... Was it a yeah, swap? Yeah, for the other half. Oh, come steady on radar. Steady on mm. radar, right? Poor old radar. Nice guy, just in a... Tom Cruise's... Tom Cruise's mentality. <laughs> <laughs> no, radar, he's... Ugh, perfectly harmless, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He really just, nice, I don't know. It's, it's just... He's not the kind of guy that I would choose to spend no my time way. with. He's like a mate of a best mate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like yeah, an acquaintance yeah, yeah. of a best yeah. mate that I yeah. see from time yeah. to time. Hello, darling. Hi, Surly. How are you going, all right? Yeah, I'm all right. What have you been up to? You know, just beating the second house. Yeah. I've got good hearing for a puff of fish. I've heard all about that. <laughs> Sounds stupid, doesn't it? So upset, Sally. I'm so cranky. Who were you talking to, Zoe? When? Just, just then? then. Just for myself. Were you? Yeah, I was like, it's she not funny at all. I could hear a guy. Huh? I could hear a guy. Just for myself. Oh, you're so cute. So what's going on with Zoe? I just tried to get in the bathroom and I could hear someone on the tunnel, a, a man's voice. It wasn't Big Brother, he was like a cockney English. What was he saying? Honestly, I get the giggles when I'm telling the truth. I can swear this hand on my heart. And then all I heard was her say, in the next two weeks or something, and then he, and then I started giggling and then the door opened and she was doing that with the fish tank. Do you reckon she was just going mental and talking to herself? Michael was the first housemate to hear from Surly and receive access to the executive bathroom. Yeah. It was a man. Was it? Honestly, it was a man. It wasn't Big Brother. No, it wasn't Big Brother. That's funny. Everyone's. T I feel like everyone knows someone and I don't. Next, Surly has a mission for Zoe. I want you to pull aside one of your housemates and burst into tears and tell them you're really stressed out about this challenge. To save Bradley, call 1902 559503, SMS Bradley to 199 or vote on Facebook. I wonder if there's a secret code area. Maybe Surly can talk. That's what I was thinking, eh? Hey. <laughs> Surly's alive. Do you reckon? Yeah. Maybe. That was a close one. Anyway, this stupid second house. Yep. I want to know more. Go and ask your mate, Big Brother, if they've got a pet too. <coughs> Zoe. Hi, Big Brother. Um, just wondering, does house two have a pet? Why are you asking? Just curious because we've got Surly and we're very lucky and I was just wondering if they had a pet or if they were unlucky and less important than us. House 2 does have a pet. 
Ooh, what is it? It's an octopus. <gasps> that is so cool. What's his name? Rodney. Rodney the octopus. Is it like a blue ring or is it just like a normal one? It's a normal one. Hi, Surly. How'd you go? Yeah, I found out that the house two has a pet. Really? Yes. But what is it? It's an octopus named Rodney. What? What a stupid name. <laughs> Rodney. <laughs> yeah, Rodney the octopus. All right, listen up very closely. Yep. If you lose this challenge against this other house, you'll get booted out, right? Yep. That means I get booted out too, right? Yeah. I don't want to go back to the sea. Yeah. The sharks in there is freezing cold. Sharks? That means I want you to win. Yeah. I want you to do me a little mission. Okay. I want you to pull aside one of your housemates and convince them how much you care. I want you to burst into tears and tell them that you're really stressed out about this challenge and that you think we all need to work together and try harder. Do you understand? Yeah, okay. Just say so just one of them and start crying and convince them to try harder, okay? And if they think it's a challenge or a secret mission, you lose. Do you get it? Yes, I get it. Now, if you pull it off, dinner's on me. Sarah. Oh, you are. I'm really worried about this second house and these challenges. You know I'm going to be worried, because then you bring them out when you think about But like, what if we go, I like, put my whole life on hold of this, you know? Just repeat after me, can you? We're going to win these challenges. And we're going to win these challenges. Because we are winners. Because we are winners. And we deserve to win. And we deserve to win. Full stop. Full stop. <laughs> so we can do this. Okay. We can do this. I'm sorry for waking you. I have to watch my <laughs> blubber and be ridiculous. <laughs> Ben, they smell sensational. Shopping. This is Big Brother. Zoe to the diary room. Oh, take they're probably going to take you in there because they look like you've gone, like you're going to kill someone. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't forget those are under there, baby. Oh, yeah. Surly has rewarded Zoe with a dinner that she was robbed of last <laughs> week in the captain's quarters. Oh. <sighs> Yum. Oh, my goodness. A filet mignon steak with veggies and a glass of red wine. That looks delicious. Yum! Oh, Sally, I love you. It's good. Is it pork? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this pork? Hey, yes, good, good, good. Oh my god. Yeah. Is Zoe's still in the diary room, so save the stuff. Um, I'm a bit concerned about <clears throat> people starting to get suspicious. I'm not sure if I'm doing a great job at throwing them off the trail. You might just have to try harder, Zoe. Well, I'm... <laughs> I love Layla. She's one of the closest people in here to me. But she's been extremely suspicious today. So I've, um... Been telling everyone that maybe she's just going to be a little bit crazy, and slowly people are starting to believe me because every time she says something, people are like, Layla, you're just acting silly. So, I think it's more sensational. Yeah. <laughs>
Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.